Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It's been a big week in the world of VR, especially with the Quest 3 launch and even Pimax with their 72Hz mode for the crystal. But anyway, this video is all about getting your Quest 3 to run at the most absolute maximum detail that you possibly can achieve. <laughs> so again, um, I just want to say that really ideally you need a high-end GPU for this particular uh, setting I'm going to recommend. And also, I just want to say thank you to my Discord members, but also a YouTuber. Let me get his name right. Hang on. The Casual Racing Gamer. I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. He has uh, posted a video for the racing fans out there. Um, basically, a way of cutting out some of the compression and really sharpening that image. And I'm using it right now. And I must say, I've got to admit that this does look superb. And this looks better than the Reva G2. But of course, I am using a 4090. And that's been my argument from the very beginning, folks, is that it's all very well me recommending this headset over the Reva G2. But unless you've got a really expensive GPU to run it, then it's not going to be very useful information to you, okay? But if you do have a 4090 or 4080 perhaps, then I'd recommend trying this setting. So what you need to do is navigate to your Oculus debug tool. I'll show you where that is on the screen now. Depending on obviously where you've got your Oculus, or should I say Meta folder. Once you've uh, opened it up, you've got two options. The first one is link sharpening. Make sure that's on quality mode. Now, for Quest Pro owners, I've been told in my Discord by Kevin, all right, mate, if you're watching this, <laughs> um, that he prefers it on normal, but for Quest 3 owners, I've noticed um, switching that to quality mode definitely does sharpen up the image. Now, the next thing you need to do is change the encode bitrate to 940 Mbps. Now, it actually won't let you do that because it's a crazy number. But what you need to do is copy and paste in Notepad 940 into that box. And then it will allow you to do it. Restart your uh, session. Also make sure that in your device settings in the Oculus app itself, I prefer to run at 80 hertz, which gives me a solid 40 frames reprojected. And leave that on 1.0. Don't super sample it there, okay? We're going to do that later on. Once you're in the flight sim and you've got the OpenXR toolkit enabled, which you definitely need, switch over to the override resolution. And at the moment, my resolution for the Quest is 3657 by 3953. Now, that's not, an, you know, the exact figure you need. Have a play around and see how far you can push it. With a 4090, you can max it out, actually, and still get a very nice reprojected uh, 40 frames per second in 80 hertz mode. So in essence, we are super sampling in the sim itself, not via the Oculus app. That's important. Keep it at 1.0 at 80 hertz. Override the resolution in OpenXR Toolkit and make sure you change those settings in the debug tool. And the result... It is amazing, actually. Um, for a £500 headset, this is very impressive. Really super sharp. Out to the distance as well. well. I can see all the mountains there. And, you know, even like the individual trees down there. Very, very nice. And there's very minimal artifacting and compression. So they're just my interim settings for people who really want to maximise every ounce of that display of the Quest 3. Bear in mind, though, you do need a high-end GPU. But if anyone's willing to try it with a 30 series graphics card, I would love to know your impressions as well. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I truly appreciate it. Please feel free to subscribe. Plenty more Quest 3 content coming now and well into the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.